Hello and welcome to the workshop. Well, today we are going to go through the procedure to produce your own custom PCBs. All right, first of all, you will need to have uh, designed your circuit. For this example, I'm going to just do this one. It's a, uh, a 555 timer and we're gonna do this this is our design. We've already tested it. Well, I'll just say we've we already tested it. We know this circuit works fine. And we're going to produce a custom PCB from this circuit. Right, the first thing you need to do is head on over to Easy EDA. Easy EDA dot com. I'll put a link in the description because I'm actually registered with the site. It actually automatically brings me to my projects. When you initially get here, you'll have to register, and once you register, uh, you will have my projects, and they'll this would be blank. So ignore these, these are things that I've done. So go over, register it, it doesn't cost anything. It's just username, password, and you're left here. And the first thing we wanna do is to create a new project. So let's hit the plus. Name, let's put the project name. Let's do 555 timer we can put a bit of a description here I'm not gonna bother and we scroll down we can pick do we want it a private or for everyone to do I'm just gonna say private This is my project. And we do create project. Okay, now we've done that, we want to do new schematic. And this puts us into the development tools to create a new schematic. Okay, right, let's draw the schematic. I'm not gonna put it up on the screen because it's it will get in the way of uh, yourself seeing what I'm doing. But you can always look back and see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm gonna look for, let's look for the uh, 555 timer. So in the filter, put 555, let's come right up here. I Click here, different variants, but that one, let's put down there. Left click to disable that, let's delete that. Let's click this one, let's have our VCC line, let's have it over here. Right click to disable left click to select ground let's put our ground in right let's have some resistors should we have this type yeah what should we have uh, let's have some quarter, yeah quarter of what we need three of these one two three can I highlight them all I want to rotate them. Okay. So we have R1, which is over here. R2, which is over here. R3, that's over here. And the R1 is 1K. Oh, that's actually correct. We don't have to change that. R2 is 10K. So let's go to the attributes by right clicking. Attributes. Make that 10k. 
update. So we've got 1k, 10k, and ah, oh, free 1k. Ah, oh, we don't have to do anything there. Ideal. Next, let's do the capacitors. Well, I know the 10 microfarad one is actually an electrolytic, so I will grab that electrolytic and put it down there. And the 10 nanofarad one is just like a ceramic or something, so let's plonk him down there. So, have we got everything? No, we're missing the, uh, the LED. Right, scroll down, there's plenty here. If you don't find it here, there's libraries, all different schematic libraries that you can import from. But for this project, I'm just dealing with what's in what's going to be in this uh, EE library. Excuse the motorbike going past. That can't be helped. Right, uh, let's have a look. LED, 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 transformers, did I just go straight past, oh, there it is, right, that there, just plonk it down, and I want to rotate it like that, LED one, it's called D1 on the schematics, I ain't going to worry too much, right, let's get things a bit organised, doesn't really matter. But. Okay. We've got this. Now let's connect up. Right, these are all our connection tools. I will show you this one here and later on this one here. But start off with wiring tool. So it's selected. And the main thing we need to do is look out for that when that dot appears. So that goes to BCC. This is the ground. Like so. Right, how's everything connected here? Uh, right, BCC goes to 8, VCC also goes to 4, so let's go, let's go a bit round, shall we, there, so that's that done, VCC also goes to the top of R1, each time making sure that the dot highlights. R1 connects to R2. This junction here, R2 goes to seven. Where's seven? All oh, right. I've got to go all the way around here to here. Bottom of the resistor goes to the capacitor. Uh, this also goes to six. So let's go a bit round the town. Right, that's connected to six. Don't worry about being pissed. Doesn't matter in the slightest. This also goes to two. So we can go straight across to there. All right, bottom of this capacitor. I missed that one, so I'm going to do control. Let's get rid of that. Let's control Z that because I don't trust it. Right, that goes to ground. Ground also goes to this one. Ground also goes to bottom of the LED. This one goes to five. Right, 
LED goes to one of our three, and this one goes to three. Which actually on this is the output is here. Okay, I think we have got everything. One goes to that. Yeah. Four. Right, I think we have everything. Once we've done that, I mean, we can manipulate these to make them look pretty if we really want to. Right. Like so. That one, that one we missed, which is not good. So I will redraw that in. That goes to there. It is a good idea to move these around because it does make sure that they are connected. And yeah, they look like they are. That one was connected to there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Here's our schematic. Is that one connected to there? No, so there's another one we missed. Let's just draw that line in. Okay. Right, that's now connected. Make sure, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's connected. Right. The other thing I'm going to show is I'm going to. We need to add a way of getting power to this. So let's put a connector. There we go. Two pin connector. I'm going to do it over here. And let's slap in a, a 7805 regulator. Yeah, okay, telling me off. 7805 regulator. Let's flip that one. So we've got a connector, we've got a regulator. Let's wire pin one is our supply. Pin two is our ground. And this is obviously our five volts out. So I'm going to use some of these. One, two. one two now these are quite useful Let's highlight those just flip them no try again flip them right this one i want to change the attributes to vcc this one, uh, change the attributes to GND, can be anything you want. This one I'm also going to change to VCC, VCC. This one, no, attributes GND. Let's just wire these. So our VCC GND. And what happens is that when we actually construct this, all the VCCs will be connected together. All the GNDs are connected together. Right, we've got our schematic. Feel free to spend as long as you want to make it look pretty. 
But in this video, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to hit the save. That's what we want. All right, next, let's convert it to a PCB. And here's our PCB. We can alter this, change shape, so you can have different shape. Uh, circuit boards, I'm not going to bother. But basically, we uh, we need to move the components in. If I, I will get it in a minute. Into our PCB. Have the LED in the corner there. That must be the regulator. That's a capacitor. Here's the power in. Let's put them over here. We do have tools like we can highlight these three here. So we can line the centers, make them even. And here, here it is. You can do it to all of them. Make it look as pretty as you like. Am I going to bother at the moment? No. So I've got all that. And this is showing me where all the wires are going. The next step is we hit the save. New PCB. Let's save. Okay, that one already exists. Save as new PCB one. Okay. Right. That's now saved. Now we need to do auto root. Now auto root will actually work out the tracks. Right here we put how wide do we want the tracks. Uh, let's make um, let's make them ten. Make them a bit thicker. Clearances between tracks. And so on and so on set this up uh, you can download a router server if you want which you have to set up here but I'm going to use the cloud one and we just hit the run and wait depending on how busy the server is will depend on how quickly this does this and if it seems to take forever, I find if I actually do the stop routing and then start it again, sometimes it picks it up. Okay, it's taking forever. Let's do it again. Auto route, da, 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 cloud run. Okay, come on, come on. Right, as you probably saw, I was trying to use the cloud uh, route. It normally, it normally works, to be honest. Uh, sometimes a bit slow, but today it did not want to play ball. Story of my life. So I've now enabled a local. There, there's a document here that tells you how to do it. So hopefully it'll work. Let's make track width 10. Let's hit the run. And if it actually works. Okay. So there is automatically rooted my, uh, my board. The red lines are the top face and blue lines are the underneath face it is a dual uh, a dual layer board you can do more layers but this is a dual layer board the yellow is the silk screen so why don't we click on the silk screen let's put some text there change the attributes Joe's Flasher update. So this is this is going to be a bit of text. Let's da, 
just shuffle things around a bit. And because I've shuffled it around, I've lost some of the auto routing. So let's again root. Okay, it's now rerouted that. Right, now this is pretty much done. So let's hit save. Let's save our board. We don't need to build a materials for this particular example. Let's gen generate, fabricate. Let's just do a check. Just make sure there's no errors. No, there's no errors. And here we are. Here's our board. What it's going to look like. We can generate Gerber files. We can probably view Gerber files. See what that does for us. Uh, no, it's just going into. bunch of things so we're not worried about that anyway so here we are is our board quantity of 10 in green will cost us a grand total of two pound I think it might be plus shipping the shipping does cost about $14 uh, but you can actually for that $14 you could do a couple you know, so for like twenty dollars, you could get uh, quite a few of these. And obviously, to order, just hit the button here, and it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I hope that was good. Many thanks for watching. Tune in soon, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.